Hello everyone, another session, American English File, Second Edition, Book 1, Student Book, Part 4B. Okay, everybody, I get up at 4 a.m. I get up. I go for a run at 5 a.m. Mm. I have breakfast and go to work at 7 a.m. At 1 p.m., I eat lunch. I have lunch. Okay. I go home at 7 p.m. I record a YouTube video or a video for YouTube at 9 p.m. And at 10, I go to bed. I sleep. Right? Okay. So, how is your day like? What do you do? What do you do at 7 o'clock? What do you do at 8 o'clock? How's your day like? Speak with your partner. Very well. Very good. Let's continue. Now, everybody, these are some activities. All right, in the picture. I don't, I'm not going to say it. Just one of them. Get up. This one is get up. Good. Listen to the sounds and number the phrases. One to six. Listen and number. Get dressed, get up, have breakfast, take a shower, go to work, school, have a coffee. Good. Listen and number. 2.36 1 Two. Mm -hmm. Three. <sighs> Four. <sighs> Five. Six. Bye. Okay, well done. Let's check him. Number two, take a shower. Number three, get dressed. Number four, have a coffee, my favorite, every morning. Number five, have breakfast. And number six, go to work or school, right? Well done, very good. Now, what order do you do these things? For example, first, everybody, I get up. Then, I go for a run. After that, I take a shower. After shower, I have breakfast. And then I get dressed, I go to work. What is your order? In what order do you do them? Tell the class and tell your partner. Okay? Very good. Excellent. Let's move on. Okay. Everyday activities. Susie stressed. Match the verbs and pictures. First, everybody look at the pictures. What do you see? What do you see? Uh-huh. The woman. Her name is Susie. Is she happy or sad? Hmm. Good. Now match the pictures to the words. For example, take a shower. For example, look, number one. Wake up at 7 a.m. Number one. Wake up at 7 a.m. Do it. Good. Now I want you to listen and check 2.37 Susie stressed 2 She takes a shower <laughs> 4 She has a coffee
Eleven. She does housework. Six. She starts work at eight thirty. Eight. She finishes work at six thirty. Three. She gets dressed. <coughs> One. She wakes up at seven o'clock. Seven. She has lunch at work. Nine. She goes shopping. Fourteen. She goes to bed late. <gasps> Twelve. She has pizza for dinner. The lucky winners of this past weekend super lottery draw. The pair came forward to claim their eleven million dollar prize. Ten. She gets home late. Five. She goes to work by bus. Thirteen. She watches TV and checks emails. Tonight with the low of seventy-four. More showers developing tomorrow, and not as warm with a high of seventy-seven. Okay, let's check your answers. Well done, you did very good. Now, we have Henry Healthy, right? Again, look at the pictures. Yes. Now, same. Match the pictures with the words. For example, get up at 8 a.m., number one. Get up at 8. Okay. Very nice, very good. Let's do it. All right. Now, listen and check henry healthy six he goes to italian classes buonasera nine he does italian homework il mio nome è henry one he gets up at eight o'clock Three. He has breakfast. Two. He exercises. Three. Four. Five. <sighs> five. He goes home early. Four. He walks to work. Ten. He relaxes. In sports, the Blue Jays and the Yankees meet tonight in the deciding game of the American League East pennant race. Seven. He takes the dog for a walk. Twelve. He sleeps for eight hours. <sighs> eight. He makes dinner. Eleven. He takes a bath.
Okay, well done. Let's check your answers, everyone. Sure, these are your answers. Now, have, everybody, have has two meanings. One, for family and possessions, I have three children, uh, he has a big house, for possessions, having. Now, number two, for activities, for example, I have lunch at 1.30, she has a coffee in the afternoon. Like drinking, eating, activities, right? Easy. Now, pronunciation, linking sounds, linking and sentence stress. Everybody, for example, let me show you. Remember, when people speak, they usually link the words together. Sometimes three linked words sound like one. I get up at seven. I go to school. Go to school. I go to school. Right? Now, I want you to listen and write five sentences you hear. Listen, write. Number one, two, three, four, five. 2.38 1. He wakes up at 8 o'clock. 2. She works in an office. 3. She has a coffee at 11 o'clock. 4. He has a lot of homework. 5. She has an interesting day. If you need, listen again. All right, let's see the sentences. He wakes up at 8, 8 o'clock. She works in an office. She has a coffee at 11 o'clock. She has a lot of homework. A lot of homework, right? She has an interesting day. Good. Now, I want you to listen and repeat. Let's go. 2.39 I get up at 7. I take a shower. I go to work. I have a sandwich for lunch. I get home at 6. I have pizza for dinner. I go to bed at 10. What a life! Good, very nice. Now, we have a reading here, everybody. Father and daughter. Whose day is more stressful? First, everybody read the article. How do you think Nico feels at the end of the typical day? Typical, normal day, typical day. Why? Choose from the adjectives in the list. Bored, happy, stressed, sad, tired, worried, relaxed. Okay. So we're going to write about Nico. Nico. Okay. Let's read it together. Father and daughter. Whose day is more stressful? Nico is a chef. All right. And has his own restaurant, the Blue Jar. He lives in Chile. Okay, with his wife and her three children, age 16, 12, and 9. 6 a.m. I get up and make breakfast for the children. Then I have breakfast, a coffee, and cereal. And I read the sports section of the paper. 7.15 a.m. I go to the market to buy fruit and vegetables for the restaurant. Hmm. 8.45 a.m. When I get to the restaurant, I check the reservations and my emails and plan the special menu of the day. Special menu. I have my second cup of coffee. Oh, has two coffee. Has two cups of coffee. Right. 10.30 a.m. I start cooking. The radio is on and we are busy with breakfast orders, but we also have to prepare food for lunch. Good. 12 p.m. I check the tables and have my third coffee. The third coffee. Good. 1.30 p.m. Suddenly everyone arrives at the same time and the restaurant is full on a good day. I start to shout instructions at the chefs and waiters. We make lunch for 85 people in about an hour and a half. Oh. 
2.45 p.m. I come into the restaurant and talk to the customers and ask if they are happy with the food. I'm really hungry now. 3.30 p.m. Finally, I have lunch. I don't enjoy it very much because I don't have time to relax. Hmm. 4 p.m. After lunch, I go back to the kitchen and plan the food for the evening menu. 5.30 p.m. I go home to be with, uh, with, the, uh, with the family for a couple of hours, just two hours. The children do their homework and I make their dinner. 7.30 p.m. I go back to the restaurant, which is again full, and I check that everything is okay. 10 p.m. I go home and take a shower, then I collapse on the sofa with a sandwich. 11 p.m. I go to bed, ready to start again the next day. So wakes up at 6.30 6 a.m. Sleeps at 11 p.m. Good. So everybody talk to each other. How is his day? Is it stressful? Is it stressed? Is it uh, boring? Is it happy? All right. Let's check it. Nico feels tired but happy. Maybe he also feels stressed. He works all day and makes food for his family. He gets up early and is always working. He has very little free time, but he likes his job. Mm, good. Now, there are some highlighted words, everybody. For a couple of hours, for example, I said two hours. Couple, two. After, go back, everything, ready. I don't enjoy it. Everyone, also, busy. Own. Check your dictionary or you can use the Google Translate as well. Tell it to your partner. Very good. Let's move on. Now, look at the picture. What do you see in the picture? Ah, a girl is playing basketball. Balling, we say. Now, listen to Amelia, Nico's 16-year-old stepdaughter, talking about her day. Fill in the blanks with a word, a number, or a time. So, morning, afternoon, evening. Time. Or a word or a number listen and fill in the blanks fill in the blanks let's go for example 6 30 she gets up 2.40 what time do you get up in the morning me levanto a las seis y media nunca me quiero levantar porque es tan temprano i get up at 6 30. i never want to get up because it's very early do you have breakfast Yes, a quick breakfast and then I go to school. How do you go to school? By bus. We have these yellow school buses. We call them liebres. What time do you start school? At 8 o'clock. In the first class, everyone is really sleepy. How many classes do you have? In the morning, we usually have five, but sometimes six. What time do you have lunch? At 1 o'clock. That's a very long morning. Yes, it is. We're very hungry at lunchtime. Where do you have lunch? We have lunch at school in the cafeteria. We only have 50 minutes, so we don't have much time to relax. We just eat our food and then run to the next class. How many classes do you have in the afternoon? On a good day, only three. On a bad day, five. After the second class, Everybody is tired and we don't concentrate on what the teacher is telling us. What time does school finish? At 5.30. Do you go home then? It depends. On Mondays and Wednesdays, I go to extra classes to prepare for college entrance exams. And on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I have basketball practice. What do you do when you get home? I just want to relax, but it's impossible. I have homework and exams, so I need to study. So I sit down at my desk and start working again. After dinner, I go back to my room and study until 11 o'clock, or sometimes later. What time do you go to bed? About 11.30. I lie in bed and think about the next day and the classes I have. Luckily, it's Friday today. No school tomorrow. Okay. If you need... If you need, listen again. Okay. Check with your partner. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. 6.30, she gets up. At 8, she starts school. And she has 
five or six classes. Afternoon. At 1 p.m. she has lunch. She, ha she only has 15 minutes for lunch. She has three to or five classes. At 5.30 she finishes the school on Mondays and Wednesdays she has extra classes to prepare for college entrance exam. On Tuesdays and Thursdays she has basketball practice. Okay, evening. She does homework and studies until dinner. After dinner she studies until 11 and at 11.30 she goes to bed. Good. Now grammar. Prepositions at in on and for place again this is these are prepositions of time at in on and for place again at in to okay let's do it together look at some sentences from amelia's day complete them with in on at or to for example i all right listen and check 2.41 1. I get up at 6.30 2. In the morning, we usually have five classes, sometimes six. 3. We have lunch at school in the cafeteria. 4. On Mondays and Wednesdays, I go to extra classes. Okay, these are the answers. I get up at 6.30 time. In the morning, we usually have five classes, sometimes six. Three, we have lunch at school, location, place, at school. On Mondays and Wednesday, time, Monday, when on, all right? On Mondays and Wednesday, I go to extra classes okay let's check this out everybody prepositions time for time listen and repeat 2.42 in the morning in the afternoon in the evening in the summer on Monday on Tuesday morning, on the weekend, at 3 o'clock, at noon, at midnight, at lunchtime, at night. Okay. So, in, on, at, for time. Let's check it. We use in for parts of the day and seasons. In the morning, in the afternoon, in summer. Summer is a season. We use on for days and the weekend. On Monday, on Tuesday morning, on the weekend. We use at for times of the day and night. At 3 o'clock, at noon, at midnight, at lunchtime, at 2 o'clock. Now, other uses of in and on. We use in with months and years. In December, in 2015. We also use on with dates on January 1st. Good. Now, in the next part, movement and place. Prepositions of place. Again, listen and repeat. 2.43 1. He goes to work at 8 o'clock. 2. He has lunch at work. He works in an office. Good. 2. At. In. So, we use 2 for movement or direction. She goes to the gym. We don't use 2 before home. I go home, not go to home. We use at and in for position. We use at plus work home at home at at school at uh, at work. We use in plus other places, an apartment. For example, in an apartment, in an office, in a room. 
and be used in or at with some public places, a restaurant, in a restaurant, in the movies. On Saturdays, he usually has lunch in or at a restaurant, right? Let's practice. Let's practice together. Now, we have two exercises complete with in, at, in, on or at. For example, on Saturday. I mean, part B complete with two, at, in or blank. Nothing. Stop the video and do it. If you need, rewind, check the grammar again. Okay, check with your partner. Very good, let's do it. Number one, in the evening, see you in the evening, on September 22nd, in the summer, at 7.30 time, at night, on Monday mornings, again day, on the weekend, in January, month, okay, part B, complete with two at, in, or blank. We go to school by bus. They get home late. Number one, sorry, John's. Sorry, John's not here. He's at work. It's a great day. Let's go to the beach. It has direction. Where to? To the gym, to the beach. Direction. Okay. Laura's husband works in an office. My brother studies math at the University of Chicago. At. I go to the, I go to the gym on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Number six. What time do you go home? Blank. Number seven. We live in an apartment. Number eight. It's Monday. The children are at school. Number nine. My father's a doctor. He works in a hospital. Number ten. Jack isn't at the store. He's on vacation. Very good. Excellent. You did very good. Okay, now listen and say the time phrases with the right proposition. For example, the weekend. You say, on the weekend. All right? Listen and answer. Let's do it together. 2.44 1. The weekend. On the weekend. On the weekend, you say. Two. The morning. The morning. In the morning. In the morning, yes. Three. Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. At? At seven o'clock. Do it. Four. Sunday. On Sunday. Five. Night. At night. Six. The evening. In the evening. Seven. Midnight. At midnight. Eight. The summer. In the summer. Nine. Tuesday morning. On Tuesday morning. Ten. Noon. At noon. Okay, very nice. Very good, everyone. Now, speaking and writing. Work in pairs, you and your partner. Interview your partner. Interview. About a typical normal weekday with the questions. What time do you get up? What time do you have breakfast? What do you have for breakfast? How do you go to school or how do you go to work? All right. What time do you start work or school? Uh, for example, for how long do you have a lunch break? What time do you finish work or school? What do you do after work? All right, these questions. Talk to your partner. This is on you. Now, when you can't be exact, what time do you get up? At about, about. 
at about 715 it's not exact what when do you have uh, when, what do you have for breakfast it depends if i have time i have a toast and cereal so for time what time do you go to school at about for example eight or for example what do you have after gym it depends if i have time a steak if i don't have time protein shake and some high protein milk right it depends yeah now what who do you think has a more stressful day you or your partner why yeah again it's about you now everybody my favorite day all right this is christina a college student from mexico city all right now this is a magazine article first read christina's article is her saturday like yours okay let's check it my favorite day of the week is saturday because it's the first day of the weekend mm -hmm. i get up very early during the week so on saturday it's nice to get up late and i always stay in bed until about 10 30. then i usually go shopping with a friend in mexico stores are sometimes closed on sundays so saturdays is the best day for shopping we don't always buy anything but we have j fun just looking i often have lunch with my mother and my brother it's great because my mom is a really good cook a really good chef and she always makes things we like and my brother and i have time to talk about our week after lunch i sometimes study from about four to six especially if i have exams in the evening i usually go out with my friends we often go to the movies and then we have pizza or tacos i never go to bed before one or sometimes later okay this is about her favorite day and why she likes it now look at the examples below after and then use after plus another word after lunch after work after that all right use then to say about what happens next i get up then i have breakfast okay okay see read the article again and check that you understand the highlighted words during until then from after to before you can use a dictionary if you need then use them to complete the sentences below Number one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Let's do it together. Number one, Jack usually gets up at 7.30. Then he takes a shower. Number two, after lunch, I often sleep for half an hour. Number three, she always takes a bath before she goes to bed. Number four, during the week, I work from nine to five. Number five, I usually get home at about midnight and then I go to bed. Number six, we usually watch TV before it's time to go to bed. Well done. Very good. Now, I want you to write an article about your favorite day. You can use Christina's article as a model. All right. So. You are going to write an article for a magazine called My Favorite Day. Write four paragraphs. Four paragraphs. First, look at the questions and make notes of what you can say. Use the questions for ideas. What's your favorite day of the week? Why? What do you usually do in the morning? Where do you have lunch? What do you usually do after lunch? What do you usually do in the evening? Okay? Answer these questions. Good. Now write your article. Choose which of your ideas you want to use. Don't forget to use some of the highlighted words to link the, together your ideas. Okay, you can use the highlighted words to link the sentences. Now, check your article for mistakes. Show your article to another student, to your partner. Find things in your partner article that is the same for you, same ideas, right? So this is a writing practice for you. Good. Very nice. That's it everyone, another one in the basket. You did very good. We will practice it together. Wish you all the best. If you have a question, comment down below. I will be with you.